Hello, my name is Mahesh Ramchandani. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist here at the Royal Bournemouth Hospital. This short video will take you through what happens when we list you for cataract surgery. Cataract surgery is one of the most commonly performed operations in the NHS today, and using modern techniques we get excellent results. Here at the eye unit of the Royal Bournemouth Hospital, we ensure that treatments are designed to maximise success and minimise complications. This means carefully assessing and planning every operation for the individual patient throughout the cataract pathway. A cataract is your own lens inside your eye, which gradually becomes more opaque over the years. They can cause symptoms of blurring or misting of vision, glare from headlights for example, or they can go unnoticed and be picked up at a routine optician's check when glasses are unable to help. You may be referred into the cataract clinic directly by your optician or through your general practitioner. The cataract clinic is located on the ground floor of the eye unit in the west wing of Royal Bournemouth Hospital. There are patient car parks immediately outside the unit and on entering the hospital from here, the eye unit is the first department you will come across. It is important to remember when planning your journey not to drive yourself as we will need to examine your eyes and put in eye drops that may blur your sight for up to three hours. Remember to bring also your glasses for distance and near and a list of your medications. When you arrive, you should report to the main reception desk in the eye unit outpatient department. You will be asked to have a seat until the nurses in the cataract clinic call you. Your eye set will be assessed and measurements of your eyes are taken using the latest equipment. You will then have your eye drops put in so that the consultant eye surgeon who you will see can examine your eyes. You will then be called in to see the consultant who will examine your eyes. Together with the patient, the doctor will decide a management plan, which usually means either being put on the waiting list for surgery or discharging the patient if it is thought that there is too little cataract to warrant surgery. After your consultation, you will see a nurse who will take some further details from you and give you further information, including a cataract surgery booklet. When you come in for your operation, you will be asked to report to the day surgery ward of the eye unit. This is on the first floor immediately above the cataract clinic. On arrival in the day ward, you will be signed in by our ward clerk and um, then you'll wait outside until you're called in by one of the nurses. When you come in, we'll do your blood pressure and we'll check some details with you. We put um, quite a lot of drops into the eye over a period of time. And the doctors will come and check and mark the eye. When your turn comes, you will be taken into the eye theatre. There, you will be made comfortable on the operating table and given anaesthetic drops and an injection around the eye. There are many ways to give the anaesthetic and every surgeon has a different preference. Patients often ask what happens if I blink, move or cough during the operation. These are rarely problems. We use a speculum to hold the eyelids open so that blinking won't affect surgery at all. Patients are assessed in the clinic before listing so that those not able to keep still may be offered a general anaesthetic. As the operation takes only about half an hour, most people tolerate it without any difficulty. Contrary to popular belief, the eye is not taken out during surgery. A tiny 2.8 millimeter incision is made and the cataract removed with ultrasound energy and replaced with an artificial implant made of acrylic or silicon, about a centimeter across. Most of the time, stitches are not needed. Over 90% of cataract operations are done under local anaesthetic. This is with the patient awake using an injection around the eye to freeze it. This does not hurt and the patient cannot see what's going on. Sometimes sedation may be given into the vein to help a particularly anxious patient relax and rarely a full general anaesthetic may be needed. At the end of the operation, we put a clear plastic shield on the eye some surgeons also like to pad the eye. The shield usually stays on until the next day and patients are asked to wear it at night for the first week. Back on the ward, the day care nurse will explain to you about using the post-op drops and arrange a follow-up appointment in the clinic for a few weeks time. Although most people get excellent results, there are risks of complications as there are with any operations. Fortunately, serious complications are rare.
after a little while, I, I did notice my eyes were starting to get a little bit more visual. You know, I could more to make things out. And uh, I've got a clock at home, and I've always liked to look at the clock. And I thought, now I can see it now. <laughs> and I can, I can see the actual clock working. If anybody asked me about having the procedure done, I would definitely say go ahead, have it done 100%, because it will change your life.